from the Script Studios. This is San Diego's news source, 10 News. It would just be the worst thing in the world. A murder victim's stepmother is sharing her feelings about the possibility that two killers might be given early parole. The Carlsbad woman doesn't want Michael or Susan Carson to ever be released from prison. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is joining us. And Steve, even the killer's own daughter wants him to stay locked up. She still fears her father more than 30 years after the murders of three people, at least here in California. One hit over the head with a frying pan, two were shot, and they used a knife on all three of them. The couple labeled the San Francisco witch killers, Michael Bear Carson and his second wife, Susan, smiling as the camera rolled. They're wicked. They're just wicked. One victim was Clark Stevens, a young man who moved to Humboldt County to grow marijuana in the early 80s. He ran into the Carsons that were traveling through, and they were killing witches and uh, she said that Clark was a witch and they therefore killed him. It was a brutal murder. He was shot in the head and then they um, poured kerosene on him and burned him up and then covered him with manure. Years ago, she and her husband Ross, who has died, did an emotional interview about their loss with our sister station in Phoenix. No, I, in fact. <laughs> You're okay. You'll. Wait. <clears throat> no, I'm. <clears throat> I can't talk. Another victim in a very different way is Jen Carson, the killer's daughter. My mother and I were in hiding for three years during his murder spree. The Carsons confessed to one killing at a news conference, saying they had a list of targeted celebrities and political figures, including Johnny Carson and then-President Ronald Reagan. They were later convicted of three murders and sentenced to 75 years to life in prison. Daughter Jen received letters from her inmate father but calls him evil and is on a mission to keep him behind bars. This is a, a dangerous man who has um, killed um, several people and he has no remorse. They should never be allowed to be out. I mean, they were barbaric the way they killed the three, pe three young people they killed that we know of. And there are probably more, they thought. And Jen Carson plans to be at the uh, hearing when it does take place at the end of the month. She also has begun an online campaign to make sure that he is not released. Steve Fiorina, 10 News. All right, Steve.